It is doubtful if there's ever been a period of more rapid change than the past decade. In particular, the ever-spiraling cost of fuel has had political and economic repercussions far beyond its more obvious manifestations. The car driver, if no one else, understands the need for cost-effective motoring in terms of miles per gallon. The use of computers, new materials and production techniques has been instrumental in helping Mercedes-Benz answer this need with a new series of compact cars for the 1980s, the 190 and 190E. A new dimension in automotive technology. The car was conceived with specific parameters in mind. Smaller exterior dimensions, less weight, reduced drag through aerodynamic design and low fuel consumption. A front engine with rear wheel drive was, after extensive research, considered the most effective and efficient for cars of this size. But economic motoring was not the only consideration. There had to be a high standard of comfort, active and passive safety features, plus ease of service and repair. A final and vital requirement was that the new car, with the styling all its own, had still to look, feel and behave like a Mercedes, with all that this implies. New technology plays an important part at every stage of research and design, such as the use of a laser beam to make exact measurements of models and a wind tunnel to calculate aerodynamic forces on the body shape. A full-scale clay mock-up of the car is used for further wind tunnel tests so that fine adjustments can be made to the external shape. Harmonizing the shape and height of the roof line with the luggage compartment lid is of great significance for the vehicle's drag coefficient. In the end, a drag coefficient of 0.33 was achieved. However, optimum results are not everything and aerodynamic purity is sacrificed when, for example, the water channels designed to keep the side windows free of dirt are given priority over airflow for reasons of safety. From scanning the final shape, a computer creates a display showing a mathematical surface model for further study and modification. At other locations, more development work is in hand. New ideas are tried out and tested by engineers for comparison with existing components so that their suitability for series production can be assessed. In particular, there is a highly innovative and revolutionary concept for the rear suspension. Movement of each rear wheel is controlled by five suspension links arranged in precisely defined positions. It is called multi-link independent rear suspension. Before final approval, a rigorous program of testing evaluates the new design, which gives superb handling characteristics to the car, with stability when cornering, and full control during acceleration and deceleration. A special vehicle was built to test many different types of suspension. 
There is also an above average level of comfort in the ride and low tire wear. The front suspension is compact and combines easy handling characteristics with steering accuracy and ride comfort. The springs are on the wishbones next to the shock absorber struts with large rubber bearings for increased comfort. So as the design and test program continues, the objectives of the 190 specification are realized. It is a hard, long and exacting program where the latest design technology plays an ever-increasing role. Comprehensive tests simulate the forces and torques produced by the drivetrain and the various stresses that come from the road surfaces. Simultaneously, design work is also being carried out on the body to assess rigidity. Vibration characteristics are examined with the aim of improving ride comfort. On another vibration test stand, a bad road surface is simulated so that the durability of components can be checked. A higher strength of steel sheet is used in the 190 models ensuring a 30% greater absorption of impact energy to protect the car occupants. The front end is designed to transmit these impact forces away from the side members in an effective way in offset frontal collisions. This kind of collision is one of the most frequent types of accident. It has therefore been given special consideration. Programmed deformation characteristics at the front end of the car, plus the rigidity of the passenger compartment, offer maximum protection. Even under heavy impact conditions, the new steering system prevents the steering column from penetrating too far into the passenger compartment. All types of collision have been taken into consideration when designing the body. In numerous tests, the vehicle structure is examined again and again and the results incorporated into the final design. The protection of pedestrians and cyclists has also been a principal goal of development. The whole bonnet section, up to the rear bonnet edge, has been designed to give on impact and the windscreen wiper has been partly recessed although it's to be admitted that there are obvious limits in how far one can go in this direction. However, the ease of sectionalized repairs is demonstrated by a low speed crash test. Impact absorbing bumpers are an obvious way to cut repair costs an asset in congested urban conditions.
With the car being test driven to critical limits, steering characteristics have been engineered to adapt to poor surface conditions and provide handling characteristics which set new standards. In tests with various caravans and an experimental trailer, safe handling in trailer operation was also confirmed. Mercedes cars can of course be fitted with a detachable tow bar as an optional extra. As a safety feature, if a tire blows out, the design of the front suspension keeps the vehicle in a straight line. The already proven anti-lock braking system, which allows steering control to be maintained during emergency braking, is also available as optional equipment. Under heavy braking, the car is kept under control even if the road surface is slippery on one side. Ride comfort can also be measured objectively. With the aid of a measuring cushion and acceleration sensors, the vibrations in a road surface can be ascertained on the test track and analyzed for different frequency ranges. Long wheelbase, large spring travel, soft suspension and gas-filled shock absorbers result in good ride comfort in the low frequency range. Higher frequency vibrations and vibrations in the transmission are analyzed and reproduced in slow motion on a screen. Comfort is retained even under the most varied load conditions. The effects of different climatic conditions, which can be partly simulated on test rigs, are confirmed by actual tests in different countries and climatic zones. At high altitudes, in cold and heat, dust and high humidity, the cars have to prove themselves even under heavy load. The floating caliper disc brake, developed in conjunction with the shock absorber struts independent front suspension, offers, besides ease of maintenance, the essential advantage of minimal sensitivity to high brake disc temperatures. These extreme loads can be simulated on the test bench. The engines are improved versions of the well-established M102 four-cylinder range. They deliver high torque at low engine speeds. Even at maximum speed, both carburetor and fuel injection versions demonstrate their proven dependability. In particular, the injection engine is reliable due in part to the retention of a mechanical system. Electronically controlled supplementary functions further improve mixture preparation, which result in favorable fuel consumption low emission and ready adaptability to differing driving conditions. Besides the low coefficient of drag, a low rolling resistance contributes to the car's good fuel economy. In a special trailer, isolated from environmental influences, the rolling resistance coefficient can be determined even at high speed. With sophisticated electronic measuring equipment, on-the-road fuel consumption is accurately monitored for the various transmission options. In addition to the four-speed manual gearbox, a new five-speed box and a new four-speed automatic transmission are available. Automatic transmission is now offered with two shift programs, standard and economy, the latter giving an especially smooth and cost-effective performance. In comprehensive tests, 
the characteristics of the suspension are balanced so as to achieve the maximum degree of driving safety and ride comfort. Various noise measurements are conducted on the largely completed vehicle. The ever higher standards now demanded mean new approaches are necessary to reduce noise levels. A specially designed dummy head makes accurate interior noise evaluation possible with the aid of a digital recorder. For external noise measurement, open space conditions can also be simulated in a large test chamber. So, after several years of research, design and testing, the Mercedes 190 models are ready for their final evaluation by discerning motorists. Only a few aspects of their development have been highlighted in this film, but the ideals and engineering skills which characterize all the products of Mercedes-Benz have now been fully realized for the first time in a more compact range of cars. The advantages of quality, long service life and value retention, safe handling, great comfort, modern styling and above average active and passive safety features are now joined by the additional advantages of a low aerodynamic drag, low weight and as a result low fuel consumption. The brief has been answered. The 190 and 190E have met this exacting requirement. A compact Mercedes, which is every inch a Mercedes. <laughs>